sacrifice to go up higher. John chapter 12, verses 24 to 26. Jesus said, Most assuredly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him my Father will honor. Jesus brought out a very important truth, a deep insight here in John 12, 24. He compares life to a grain of wheat. He says, you know, this grain of wheat, if left by itself, well, it'll sit there by itself. It serves no purpose. Maybe it can be admired, can be seen, and so on. But if this grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, then something happens. Multiplication happens. It grows up, it bears fruit, and it produces much grain. So, drawing this comparison, he's giving us an important truth here. This falling into the ground and dying. A process of death that leads to multiplication. So, dying in, in, in one sense, and we're not talking about physical death, we're talking about this dying as Jesus was referring to here. This dying to self, this dying to something, would, can result in the multiplication of what is in our lives. How does this apply in our lives, in our spiritual journey with God? If we want to be, make progress, as Jesus says here, there are times when we have to lose, when we have to let go, or when we sacrifice, when we die to something we could have taken on. We give it up for the sake of the kingdom of God. And then he says, look, if you do something like that, if you actually fall into the ground and die like the grain of wheat, you know, it's only going to result in multiplication. It's not a loss, but it's a tremendous increase that could come no other way except through this process of dying, except to this process of sacrifice in our spiritual walk with God. And this applies, this truth applies to other areas of our lives. That there may be times when you sacrifice, you fall into the ground and die, you let go, you become like the grain of wheat that goes down to the ground. But once you come out, once that process of germination happens, there's going to be great multiplication. There is going to be great increase. So sometimes you sacrifice, you die. And momentarily, at a time you go through, but the outcome is multiplication. The outcome is increase. So sometimes remember, you sacrifice in order to go up higher every area of life. So don't be afraid of sacrifice. The process of death may be painful. It may be appeared when you're unseen, you're hidden, but that's the time germination is happening. That's the time multiplication is getting ready for. And things will happen when that season ends. Sacrifice in order to go up higher, move up higher in every area of your life. He wants us to go from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from faith to faith. Let's pray together. Father, we ask that you will enable us to make the sacrifices that can result in multiplication in our lives. Show us what we need to do, where we need to lose in order to gain, where we need to give up in order to increase where we need to die in order to multiply. Show us, God, and give us the grace to do it so that we can sacrifice in order to go up higher. And I pray that we will move, Lord, from one level to the next. We'll step up higher. We'll go from glory to glory as you empower us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.